Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the 2010 psychological horror film Black Swan, directed by Darren Aronofsky and starring Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis. Let's begin. Nina Sayers, a young ballerina with the New York City Ballet Company, lives with her overprotective mother, Erika, herself a former dancer. The company is opening the season with Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. After forcing prima ballerina Elizabeth Beth McIntyre into retirement, artistic director Thomas Leroy announces that he is looking for a new dancer for the dual roles of the innocent and fragile white swan Odette and the sensual and dark black swan Odile. Nina auditions for the roles and gives a flawless rehearsal as Odette, but fails to embody Odile. The next day, Nina asks Thomas to reconsider her role. When he forcibly kisses her, she bites him and runs out of his office. Later that day, Nina sees the cast list and discovers, to her surprise, that she has received the lead role. At a gala celebrating the new season, an intoxicated Beth accuses Nina of providing favours to Tomas in his return for a promotion. The next day, Nina hears that Beth was hit by a car, but Tomas believes that she was trying to take her own life. Nina visits an unconscious Beth in the hospital and sees to her horror that her legs have been severely injured, meaning that she will be unable to perform as a ballet dancer again. During rehearsals, Thomas tells Nina to observe a newcomer, Lily, who has a physical resemblance to Nina, but also an uninhibited quality Nina lacks. Nina has hallucinations and finds scratch marks on her back. One night, despite Erika's objection, Nina accepts Lily's invitation to go out for drinks. Nina offers, Lily offers Nina rather, an illegal substance, saying that it would help her relax. Nina turns it down at first, but then accepts. She repeats Lily's assurance that the effects will only last for a few hours and quickly begins to act under the influence of the substance. Nina flirts with men at the bar and Lily as well. The two dance at a nightclub and return to Nina's apartment later that night. After arguing with her mother, Nina barricades herself in her room and Lily and Nina become intimate with each other. The next morning, she wakes up alone and realizes that she is late for the dress rehearsal. Upon arriving at Lincoln Center, Nina sees Lily dancing as Odile and confronts her about their night together. She seems confused by Nina's insinuation that they slept together and denies going home with Nina, saying that she went home with one of the men from the bar. Nina becomes convinced Lily intends to take her place, especially after learning that Tomas has made Lily her alternate. Nina's hallucinations grow stronger and her injuries increase, going as far as hallucinating herself transforming into Odile. On opening night, she shouts to her mother, I am the Swan Queen, you are the one who never left the core. After her mother tells her that she called the theatre and told them that Nina was not well enough to perform and tries to convince Nina that the role has been too much for her. As Nina is late, Lily is prepared to replace her. Nina confronts Tomas, who is impressed by her newfound confidence and allows her to take back her roles. Towards the end of the ballet's second act, Nina is distracted by another hallucination and loses her stability as Odette. This causes the male dancer playing the prince to drop her on stage, which infuriates Tomas. She returns to her dressing room and finds Lily preparing as Odile. During a confrontation, Lily transforms into Nina. The two fight, breaking a mirror. Nina stabs her doppelganger with a large shard of glass from the mirror, killing her. The body reverts to Lily. Nina hides the corpse in the bathroom and takes the stage, dancing flawlessly as Odile and seemingly turns into a black swan, her arms covered in feathers. Amidst a standing ovation from the audience, Nina surprises Tomas with a passionate kiss and returns to her dressing room. As Nina resumes the Odette tutu and white swan makeup, she hears a knock at the door. She opens it to find Lily alive. Lily apologizes for the misunderstanding and congratulates her before taking her leave. Confused, Nina sees the mirror is still broken, but the towel she used to mop up the blood is clean. There is no corpse. She looks down and pulls a piece of glass from her abdomen, realizing that she injured herself, not Lily. Nina dances the final act of the ballet, which ends with Odette throwing herself off a cliff and Nina landing on a mattress. The theatre erupts in thunderous applause, while Tomas, Lily and the others gather to congratulate Nina, who remains lying on the mattress. Tomas sees the blood spreading at her waist and shouts for help. He frantically asks Nina what happened to her. Nina calmly replies that she was perfect as the screen fades to white. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know which movie you'd like to see me do next. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Goodbye.